Hi guys, welcome to the ninth episode of our van builds. Uh, in this episode we are mostly going to do a lot of furniture building, wasting a lot of time taking off the plastic overhead trays and if you just need that little bit more uh, just wait and see uh, our cat Siggy. She's coming along for the ride this episode. So I hope you like it. Behold our ladder. Finally we can get on the bed easily. trying to figure out how to do the water tank and like the water supply for the for the van so we bought a water pump so we have to figure out where we need to put this this is uh, for the water supply the pass through so we're gonna put it over here so we can have the supply go to the pump uh, then we have the other thingy it's just the same but it's to get the air out of the tank and then of course we have to have something to fill it up and we're gonna put it here we're gonna use a bigger tube so it goes from here to the side so we can just fill it up from the outside so basically that's our ID so I hope it's going to work <laughs> pretty good day today. Uh, we got our wood for the frames for the kitchen. Um, we have a friend uh, that has a, a store, the Blaue Hans, uh, and they have all those building supplies. So we asked him to um, cut our wood uh, that we measured for the frames. So let's spray it with. Let's start. So it's a little crowded in here, but um, at least we have the diesel heater in the van making it nice and toasty. So we clamped the plywood to the frame, the first one, and it seems to be uh, fitting quite well. And it uh, seems that Alexander is great at uh, cutting wooden boards to size. Thank you, Alexander. So we have to make a little correction uh, to the panel, since it's a, it's a bit too wide at the top of the at the top of the bed where it touches the doors. And meanwhile, magnificent Nikki is going to fix the panel of the other frame um, with some professional screwing. <laughs> Alright, so we are done with the fixed 
paneling for this frame for the oven and other side as well and next on the menu is the cupboards at the top This is the inside of the cupboard, looks pretty nice. We did a little bit of ghetto fixing, but that won't be visible anymore once it's finished. First air balloon of the year. It was snowing last week. Now it's 18 degrees Celsius. And the hot air balloon people didn't want to waste a good nice spring day. And we also brought our cats today. One of our cats. One of our cats, yes. The most adventurous one, although she's not acting very adventurous. As you can see, well, she really enjoys our bed. So, Nikki made a template <laughs> for the side of the cupboard. And now she's thinking. <laughs> Today we aren't filming as much as we used to do because we're like really Fishing, finishing up some details um, I put back the overhead compartment um, and I'm now installing some extra wiring for the water pump that's what I forgot so I had to remove the electricity panel once again and uh, Nikki is um, creating the templates the wooden uh, sides of the cupboards it's really precision work and she's doing great and it fits. We wasted also a lot of time 
removing and refitting the this little plastic overhead uh, thing with the with the sunscreen was totally not necessary. So we removed this plastic um, cover. Uh, I thought there was some hard material beneath it that we could uh, we could just remove it and leave it out, but it's not the case, and we wasted half a day at least at removing and refitting it. But we we have given it a good clean, but uh, it's it's really beyond beyond cleaning. So uh, yeah, we'll probably uh, cover it up with something. Our cat Siggy never has seen chickens before. She's very very intrigued. And now she's also intrigued by a camera. We used a, a lineal saw for my stepdad. So thank you Pat. Uh, and it's working out pretty well. Uh, we like it. So we're just gonna play with it today. And there we have cut all the uh, material for our seating area. It's not perfect yet, but uh, with a few tweaks it will look like it should. Like a box. So next project, um, the countertop. The kitchen and we got a sink as well from IKEA. trying to fit the sink. Currently following IKEA guidelines, marking the wood. On that last note, we leave you guys. If you made it till the end, please consider a like and subscribe to keep up to date with our progress. Hope to see you all next time and thanks for watching.